There's plenty of growth in West Sacramento and one man is using his love for gardening to help teenagers blossom. Our Jason Marks has his story as part of our tonight's Saving Our Cities report. You may have driven through this intersection in West Sac. Welcome to Fifth and C, you guys. And probably never thought. Looking good, you guys. What was growing there on the corner. This is one of our four farms out here in the community. Four years ago, Alfred Melbourne turned his vision into reality by creating three sisters gardens. We got new eggplant, broccoli, all these carrots going to be coming out soon. He wanted to provide much needed nourishment for the community. From the railroad tracks to the river, our community is designated a food desert by the USDA. Seeing all the other disparities and shortcomings here, we felt like it's our job to kind of give back, to do something for the neighborhood. And at the same time, cultivate the next generation. Yeah, these are going to be really nice. Every day, teenagers like 16-year-old Tony Rod. Uh, weeding out these flower beds right now. Are here instead of on the streets. It could happen like this. I've ended up in the wrong crowd, you know what I'm saying? So, but I, I was able to separate myself. Staying away from the dangers that can quickly grow in the neighborhood. It's very easy to get sucked down the wrong path in these streets, for sure. But I also think it's just as easy to go on the right path as well, you know? It's just all about who you surround yourself with. The pattern inside of this is so beautiful. People like Melbourne. This is a Chioga beat. Who knows all too well about the street's temptations. I spent 18 years in prison. For shooting someone. And uh, I wouldn't wish prison or incarceration upon my worst enemy if I had one. Released six years ago. I wake up every day at 5 o'clock in the morning and I come out here with a smile on my face. This is now Melbourne's passion. And so I do everything I can to use my lived experience to help support these youngsters and make sure that I'm a positive role model. For the neighborhood. Our community uh, is hungry. Hungry for change. And at the same time, those vegetables continue to grow. Another week or so, we'll be harvesting these, a first harvest. So do the positive seeds Melbourne is planting. Ain't nothing really good out here in Sacramento, but this is a good thing right here. I truly believe that if we had a program like Three Sisters Gardens when I was young, I would not have went down the path that I did and changed things so drastically. In West Sac, Jason Marks, KCRA 3 News. And the teens actually get paid $12 an hour. Three Sisters runs off of community donations. For more information on Three Sisters or to see any of our previous Saving Our City stories, just head to KCRA.com.